coming less than a week after the company's first ever 1-2 finish in the top Moto GP class, the launch of Aprilia's all-new 457 rupees A2 legal sports bike couldn't be better timed, with the unveiling taking place at the Misano circuit in the run-up to the Italian brand's home Grand Prix. Despite a family look that could fool you into thinking it's nothing more than a sleeved-down version of the 660 rupees, the 457 rupees is actually a completely different bike with its own engine, chassis and bodywork designed to compete in a burgeoning class for 47 horsepower sports bikes that can be ridden by restricted A2 license holders. And it absolutely maximizes its potential under those rules, hitting both the 35 kilowatts power limit and the 0 2 kilowatts per kilogram maximum power to weight that's allowed under those regulations. And While it might have been an easy option, to simply sleeve down the 660 rupees parallel twin to reduce its capacity and power. That's not the route Aprilia has taken, it probably would have resulted in a bike with too high a price tag, since the 660 engine is essentially one cylinder bank of the firm V4 superbike motor. Instead the company has developed a new parallel twin for the 457 rupees. It hasn't announced in-depth technical information yet. But the motor is liquid cooled and peaks at exactly 35 kilowatts or 47 horsepower to meet the limit imposed by the a2 license class some rivals in the class like kawasaki's ninja 400 opt for less power to be able to take advantage of a reduced weight in the kawasaki's case 168 kilograms ready to ride which again puts it exactly on the limit of the A2 power-to-weight ratio. As has become the norm, the Aprilia's throttle is a ride-by-wire setup, allowing three riding modes as well as traction control with three levels of intervention as well as an offsetting if you're feeling brave. A quick shifter for the six-speed box can be added as an official accessory. The other element of the A2 category's performance restriction is its strict power to weight limit of 0 2 kilowatts, which means a 35 kilowatts bike can't weigh less than 175 kilograms. To ensure the most possible performance, the 457 rupees tips the scales at 159 kilogram dry, which means it just nudges that 175 kilograms mark when all liquids are added, absolutely maximizing both the allowed power and the allowed power to weight. The chassis is very similar to the design used on the 660 rupees. It's an aluminium half frame, arching over the engine but stopping short of the swing arm pivot point. The engine itself acts as the final part of the structure to bridge that gap with the swing arm pivot cast into the engine cases themselves. At the front you'll find 41mm upside down forks, adjustable for preload only and offering 120mm of travel. At the back there's a monoshock. Again preload adjustable with 130 mm of wheel movement. The brakes come from Brembo's lower cost by Brie brand, with dual 320 mm discs at the front, gripped by four pot radial calipers, aided by a small 220 mm disc at the back. There's two channel abs as standard but the rear wheel's anti-lock can be turned off for sliding heroics. The wheels are lightweight alloys 17 inches in diameter, of course with a 150 60th tire at the rear and 110 70ths at the front. Despite the aggressive looks, the clip-on bars are mounted above the top yoke to make sure the riding position isn't too extreme. After all, most buyers will, by definition of their A2 licenses, be relatively inexperienced, and the 457 rupees will almost certainly be their only bike, used for day-to-day -day chores rather than on track days. Aprilia has yet to announce economy figures, but as a 47-horsepower lightweight twin, you can be sure it's not going to be a gas guzzler. Standard kit on the 457 rupees includes a 5-inch color TFT dash, controlled via backlit bar pods and giving access to the traction control, riding modes, and ab settings. There's also LED lighting with the indicators integrated into the headlights rather than sprouting on stocks from the fairing sides, but more in-depth details of the bike's standard kit have yet to be announced.